Okay. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whatever the case may be. I am Mr. Ignat of Camp Life. Mr. 10%. Body fat. Holding nothing back. Cutting eight no slack. And today we're going to be talking about Miss Emma Hot Tub on the next episode of Smash Our Pass by Mr. Ignat. Twitch edition. Shout out to the creator, heaven and earth above all. Let's go, baby. A pretty boy, you know, around younger days. Oh, you mean like uh, Mr. Like Ignan? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Ignan, great streamer. <laughs> he a pretty boy. Are you looking for some high quality merch and accessories? Then look no further than Mr. Ignit merchandise available at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignit. And welcome, welcome back. Shout out to everybody that's going to be checking this out after the fact. I really, really appreciate it. From the bottom to the top. I really, really mean it. And um, shout out to all the channel members. All the good supporters, the folks that hit me up on the Cash App, uh, the folks that hit me up on Twitch, the new followers, the old followers, the haters, the imitators. Shouts out to Australia too. Word up, word up. And um, where do I start? This is Miss Emma Hot Tub. Very, very nice looking lady. Uh, being all the way pretty politically correct the background is nice it looks like it's a place of business or a dressing room I like the uh, color coordinates in the back nice pastel colors the couch looks nice the floor looks nice and vacuumed and whatnot uh, nice lighting in the back natural lighting and let me say this hair nails makeup uh, maybe she's got a little work done it is what it is but body banging being politically correct that dress the way it's fitting being a african-american male from the south and seeing a whole bunch of different sizes and shapes and races and colors and creeds I'd have to give her a thumbs up. Aspect one, yes. Aspect two, yes. What I smash, you better believe it. I don't know what she used to. Why, yes, I would. What I date her, yes, I would. But the aspect two, I would be very, very, very cautious for the simple fact of this. For the untrained eye that is not looking at them curves. If you really, really inspect, that background has shawls. It has nice old school gloves. It looks like a professional burlesque wardrobe from the 1950s. And I don't know what this young lady does for a living, but people that have attire like this in their places of business they are professional burlesque dancers or ambiance workers. Now, she looked like she got the skills to pay the bills. You know what I mean? She got a nail hair, nails, makeup, eyes. She, she's a very good looking young lady. Uh, yes, what I smashed, yes. But that wardrobe in the back looks a little bit too professional. This isn't no regular cosplay young lady out there trying to make some coins. This is. From the outside looking in, it looks like she's a professional burlesque style worker that entices gentlemen with the cribbear and getting money out of them. Now, I don't know if that's what she does. I, way more publicity than me. Shout out to you, Ma. Do your thing. But from the outside looking in, dating, mm, I don't know. I don't know because... Anybody that in that type of field, you would have to, you know, your mind would be soaring about what's going on, what she's doing or whatnot, but definitely not an ugly looking young lady. But uh, that wardrobe in the back is a little bit too professional to be like a reg. This ain't no 
um, how do we say, uh, s- s- taking the clothes off at the club stripper type of situations? Oh, no, no, no. This, that in the back with the long fitted gloves and the shawls and the, uh, <laughs> the shawls and those fancy scarves with the, the frou-frou stuff going on in the back. That is not a regular dancing. That's like uh, Tina Turner had this jam back in the day called Private Dancer. As my phone goes off, but that's all good. It, it's, it's that time of the day. That's why I'm not really in my Mr. Igni t-shirt or whatnot. I have some things to do. You know, it's that time of the year, my people. But let me say this. Uh, shout out to her. May she keep on doing her thing. And uh, more publicity than me, y'all be go to be sure to drop her a follow. And uh, shout out to the people that's been supporting me this long. I really, really appreciate it. I got to get to some things. And uh, I'll holler at y'all later. Be safe. Salute, baby. And I am out. Shout out to my low down dirty dogs at the burlesque spot later on. Do you have that four legged friend that you just love? And also, you love Mr. Ignit on YouTube? Well, it seems to me that you may enjoy the Mr. Ignit logo dog bandana, which is now available at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash Mr. Ignit.